church made of human bones, a village filled with hanging coffins, a Japanese hamlet that has 10 creepy dolls for every person. We may live in a big, beautiful world, but our planet certainly has its fair share of terrifying and mysterious places. Places just waiting for the next morbidly inclined visitor to discover. Today on Crunch History, we are going to explore some of the weirdest and most mysterious places on Earth. Number 10. Nagoro, Japan. Hello, stranger. On the island of Shikoku, Japan, lies a tiny village known as Nagoro. This tiny village was once a thriving, fun village filled with laughter, joy, and the cries of young children. But over the years, many of its villagers either passed away or left for the big cities in search of greener pastures. However, this seemingly empty village is far from lonely. Walking into the village, you'll quickly notice what seems like ordinary people, but don't go saying hi just yet, as these figures aren't, well, real people. Yep, they are dolls. Creepy, oversized dolls. There are so many dolls that they outnumber the villagers by 10 to 1, with a total of 350 dolls. These eerie alter egos are visible all over the town in a variety of settings, including elderly couples relaxing on benches outside of buildings and fishermen sitting on the riverbank, to students filling up an entire classroom. This whole creepy situation was done by a lady known as Tsukimi, who was saddened to discover that her birthplace was becoming empty. So she decided to repopulate the town in her own way. Well, the cause is heartbreaking, but it's still pretty creepy. Number 9. The Litz Hellstatten, Germany. The Horror Hospital. Originally intended to be a tuberculosis sanatorium, it was later turned into a Nazi treatment facility which treated thousands of Nazi soldiers and most notably to save the life of one of the most detested men in all of history, Adolf Hitler. The hospital was also used to house weapons used against their enemies during World War II. In 1945, however, the Soviet Union took over the hospital and turned it into theirs. Although the majority of the complex has been abandoned, a few hospital wards are still used as neurological rehabilitation centers. The surgery and mental units, on the other hand, have been abandoned. The result looks like something straight out of a Resident Evil episode. Definitely not an enjoyable, fun-loving trip for the easily frightened. Number 8. Aokigahara, Japan. The Tragedy Forest. Located at the bottom of Mount Fuji lies the Okigahara Forest, otherwise known to some as the forest of many deaths. Unknown to new hikers, this seemingly serene forest has an extremely obscene history. You see, in 2010 alone, 247 people attempted to end it here, and 54 of them were successful. Why that many people would want to commit such an act in this particular forest is still a mystery. However, some locals attribute this phenomenon to the forest's association with demons in the Japanese folklore. Others point to the dense forest, which muffles sounds and makes it extremely easy to become lost, causing many people to lose their minds and resort to heinous acts. Many hikers try to mark their trail with a tape or string to help them find their way back out, only to return to find their tapes torn, as if they weren't supposed to leave in the first place. This, combined with the scattered clothing and letters throughout the maze-like woods, gives Okigahara a terrifying Blair Witch meets Palace of Knossos vibe that will chill you to your bones. Number 7. Sao Lai, Lithuania. Hill of Crosses. If the idea of an unnerving walk through hundreds of thousands of crosses haphazardly nailed into the ground on an ominous hilltop in rural Lithuania strikes the right amount of creepy for the up-and-coming Halloween, then you're in for a treat. Since the 14th century, residents of Lithuania have been putting crosses on this hill. The crosses signified a yearning for Lithuanian independence during the medieval period. Following a peasant rebellion in 1831, locals began contributing to the site in memory of fallen insurgents. During the Soviet occupation from 1944 to 1991, the hill became a symbol of defiance once more. The hill and crosses were raised three times by the Soviets, but residents kept rebuilding them, 
More than 100,000 crosses are now crammed there, clashing together in the breeze like frightening wind chimes. Number 6. San Frutoso, Italy, Christ of the Abyss. Although there are several versions of the same Jesus statue scattered around the ocean floor, like the one in Key Largo, the original version is located in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of San Frutoso. The eight-foot-tall likeness was commissioned by Italian diver Duilio Marcanti in 1954. Marcanti wanted to place some sort of memorial at the exact spot where his friend Dario Gonzatti died while diving a few years prior, and thus Christ of the Abyss came to be. The result is vaguely spooky, especially with the deity's outreached arms and upward gaze. The algae and corrosion only add to the effect, although the statue was removed from its watery home in 2003 for some much-needed restoration, including replacing a hand that a rogue anchor had broken off. Regardless of whether you find the monument eerie or beautiful, or both, it's certainly worth taking a 55-foot dive down to snap an underwater selfie with Jesus. Number 5. Sagada, Philippines. Hanging Coffins. If you want to visit the dead in Sagada, you'll have to look up rather than six feet under. The people of this region are known for burying their dead in coffins attached to the sides of cliffs, like an aerial cross-section of your average cemetery. The tradition goes back thousands of years. According to custom, the deceased is wrapped like a basketball and mourners do their best to grab it and carry it because they believe it is good luck to be smeared with their fluids. The fluids from the deceased are thought to bring success and to pass on the skills of the deceased to those who come in contact with them during the funeral procession. When the procession reaches the burial site, young men climb up the side of the cliff and place the corpse inside a hollowed-out lumber coffin. The deceased are then forced to fit into the small space, which is then sealed with vines. Today, Sakada's elders are among the last practitioners of these ancient rituals. Younger generations have adopted modern ways of life and are influenced by the country's profound Christian beliefs. It's a tradition that is slowly coming to an end. Number 4. Palermo, Italy. Capuchin Catacombs. Of all the catacombs in the world, none are quite as creepy as Sicily's Catacomb de Capuchin, commonly known as Capuchin Catacombs. The macabre space was created back in the late 16th century when the cemetery at the Capuchin Monastery became overrun. Religious men were originally intended to be the exclusive residents, but once word got out about the natural mummification processes occurring in the space, it soon became a status symbol for local citizens to earn a final resting spot there. In their best clothing, of course. As a result, the underground tombs now contain around 8,000 deceased, divided into separate corridors, including one for religious figures, one for professional men, and even one for virgins. The corpses are displayed like a museum exhibit, dressed to the nines and arranged in grotesquely lifelike posts. Eventually, the man who engineered this process died without fully passing on his knowledge of the technique. Number 3. Czech Republic – Church of Bones The incredible Sedlec Ossery is a small chapel located beneath the cemetery church of All Saints, known worldwide for its macabre decor. Back in the early 1300s, an abbot of the Sedlec Monastery brought back holy soil from Jerusalem and scattered it across the church's cemetery. And suddenly, everyone wanted to be buried in that sacred ground. But overpopulation kicked in, and the old deceased had to be dug up to make room for freshly deceased. In true waste not want not fashion, the abbot decided to put the exhumed bones to good use. A local Czech woodcarver named Frantisk Rint was given the daunting task of arranging the collection of more than 40,000 remains in a visually impressive way, and he clearly delivered. The bony structures include four candelabras, a family crest, and several streamers of bones cascading down from the ceiling. The most stunning display is probably the church's massive chandelier, which contains almost every bone found in our body. Number 2. Dewizi, Turkmenistan, the door to hell. Located in the middle of the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan is the door to hell, a name locals gave to a 230-foot wide crater that simply won't stop burning. When Soviet scientists began searching for oil, 
back in 1971, they accidentally hit a methane reserve and the drilling platform collapsed, forming a crater and releasing dangerous gas into the air. The scientists decided to light the crater on fire to burn off the methane, creating a Dante-esque anomaly that has remained lit for the past 40 plus years. Number 1. Dumbarton, Scotland – A Dog's Worst Nightmare Beware dog walkers! The Overton Bridge is not your average bridge. The Overton Bridge in Dumbarton, Scotland has been a strange hotbed for what locals call doggy tragedy since the 1960s. Researchers believe that at least 300 dogs have fallen off the bridge, although local tabloids report that the number is closer to 600. All in all, some 50 dogs have died as a result of these unexplainable jumps from the bridge. Some witnesses claim to have watched dogs climb up the bridge's wall before making the jump. In more disturbing reports, some have even said that dogs who have survived their first jump have returned to the bridge for another attempt. What's causing this? Well, many locals are convinced that the force behind the phenomenon is paranormal. Local legend has it that the White Lady of Overton, believed to be the ghost of ex-estate owner John White's grieving widow, has haunted the property to this day, while some believe it to be due to the presence of other wildlife below the bridge. Whatever the cause may be, the Overton Bridge continues to be a hotspot for jumping dogs. Did you enjoy the video? If so, why don't you check out some of our other videos? As always, thanks for watching Crunch History. We'll see you next time.